Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel and for the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu and yes, I am the guy that four years ago sold literally everything he owned with his family, his house, his companies, his cars, went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world, still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Lagos in Portugal, short video today because tonight there will be another episode of the Gokstein Media Bitcoin family series that is coming out every Friday evening guys so enjoy that one as well tonight but now let's talk about Bitcoin blockchain and life BAM in today's video mainly talking about Bitcoin of course because you want to know what is Bitcoin's next step going to be also looking taking a look at Ethereum and Litecoin guys yes the golden combo that I always trade in and then of course talking about the news because somebody is giving away one million dollar worth of Bitcoins and there is another auction maybe of a billion dollars worth of Bitcoins that's going to take place in the United States a lot of cool stuff in this video yes also about the BAM indicator and also about the family so make sure you watch the video till the end guys enjoy it Bam! Yes guys, I know that this week I didn't visit beautiful places all over Portugal, but I promise you guys, this was a very hectic week. I did a shitload of interviews, podcasts and all that stuff because they seem always to call me when Bitcoin makes a new all-time high, so I just didn't have the time to visit all these amazing places here in Portugal. But next week, I will schedule some free time again to create kick-ass content in these beautiful places in Portugal that you have never seen before because that is what I like. I like this adventure. I like to discover places and to talk about Bitcoin, blockchain and life on those beautiful places. But today, a little bit boring, my own beach again in front of our house. Enjoy! Welcome to Maya Preya or Preya Maya Beach here in Lagos, guys. Let's take a stroll on the beautiful beach while you hear the waves and you can enjoy the beautiful sounds of my voice <laughs> talking to you by guys about Bitcoin. Yes, Bitcoin broke out yesterday and we saw a new all time high almost of 24,000 US dollar. I think it was exactly 23,777 US dollar. And now we went down a little bit around 22,600 US dollar. So we are moving and consolidating in this area guys between 20 and 24 that's a huge area but that is where we are consolidating because bitcoin is going to do the next move and which next move that is what everybody wants to know but nobody has a glass ball but the next move can be a huge move again yes from this area of 22,500 us dollar we can try to break the 24k again so that will be a 2k move or we can fall all the way back to 19,800 US dollar, which would also be a huge move. On this one hour Bitcoin chart, you can see that we are moving sideways. So sideways means consolidating, means moving around this area of 20,000, 22,500 US dollar. And now the question is, are we going to break out up or down in the next move of Bitcoin? If we break out up, we are going to test the 24,000 level again and try to break that again and maybe we succeed breaking that, then we can even take it to 26,000 US dollar. If we break downwards, then we can fall back to the next level of support, which first, of course, is 22,000, then it is 20,500, and even a wick, I think to 19,800, would still keep me positive. Because I think that would be a healthy pullback from 24,000 back to 19,800, 20,000. It's a 4K pullback, but it's healthy in Bitcoin. And when we pull back to that level of 20k or 19,800 guys, then we get some volume in again to try another run all the way up to 24k and break it then to 26k, maybe even 30k. Who knows? This is Bitcoin. Everything can happen in Bitcoin. To be very honest, if I compare Bitcoin in the last couple of years of December, 
I experienced in December mostly also a dip at the end. Why? Because people are taking profits of the year and they want to buy Christmas presents and they do want to buy a holiday and all that stuff. So that always happens in, in December mostly. And two, people, there are some people that want to pay taxes on their profits in crypto. So they make sure they take profit at the end of the year. So they have enough, of mon enough money to pay the taxes in the next year. Because they pay taxes in 2021 on the year 2020. And that's why they cash out some profits at the end of the year. So in my opinion, we could dip like we did in the last couple of years, but this year is different because of the FOMO among all the institutional investors that are buying a shitload of Bitcoins every day. MicroStrategy, Grayscale, Mass Mutual, and all of them, PayPal, they are buying their Bitcoins. So I don't know if we can see the same dip again. Maybe they, they wait for this dip and then buy this Bitcoin even more cheap and then pump the price up again very quickly. And then the next moment we saw this dip every time again was the next year, uh, 2021 this time. Then in, I think it's March or April when the Chinese New Year is, or maybe it's February. Because around the Chinese New Year, we can also see that a lot of Chinese people cash some profits out of crypto to buy presents and do all that stuff that they want to do around the Chinese New Year. So those two dates are always in my mind as like, okay, be aware what is going to happen with Bitcoin because we can have some crazy movements at the end of this year and also around the Chinese New Year next year. This is a really cool chart. This is a chart that shows you the movement of the Bitcoin price after the halving. Let's take a look at this chart, this one. Bam! On this chart, you can see the three halvings. You can see the 2012 halving, you can see the 2016 halving, and you can see the 2020 halving. The top line is the movement of the Bitcoin price after the 2012 halving. Then the middle line at the moment is the movement after the 2020 halving. And the bottom line is the movement after the 2016 halving. As you can see, we are doing the same we always did after the halving. We are going up. And if we would stay in between, between the lines of the 2016 and the 2012 halving, we could reach this 100,000 US dollar price at the next top of the cycle. The question now is when will this top of this cycle be? And how high will it be? Can we also cross down again on this bottom blue line? Yes, we can. We can go lower. But we can also stay in between of these two lines. And if we would stay in between of these two lines, then we just look at how long it took to the top of the cycle in the first bull run. You can see that was 12 months. And then you look to the bottom line, you can see it took 18 months to the top of that cycle. So for us to reach the top of this cycle would need to take between 12 and 18 months somewhere. If it would take 12 months, we are talking from the halving in May, that would be 2021 in May that we would reach the top of the cycle. If it would take 18 months, that would mean the next stop of the cycle would take place in December next year. So somewhere between May and December next year, the top of this current bull run cycle should be around 100,000 US dollar in my opinion. That is why I'm adding Bitcoins every day to my portfolio. Yes, also trading, but also stacking sets with everything we do. So that's really cool to see how we are now moving in between these two lines. That would be so awesome. We could even see a peak to maybe 200,000 US dollar, like a wick or whatever. But for me, 100K is already a beautiful goal to look out for, guys. Turning around because I have another interview in a couple of minutes, so I will keep it short in this video. Let's take a look at the Litecoin chart, at this one. Bam! In this Litecoin chart, you can see we did a rally of 20%, which took Litecoin price above 100 US dollar, which was a huge resistance. Now, we are acting around 106 US dollar. The next target in Litecoin should be 115 US dollar. And then when we break that level, guys, that would be awesome because then we can go all the way up to levels that we saw in the previous bull run. Because remember, Bitcoin already broke the all time high, already higher than we were before. Litecoin, Ethereum, both didn't break the previous all time high yet. So we need to be patient because I think Litecoin and Ethereum will do the same that Bitcoin did. So maybe now Litecoin and Ethereum will have this run, the same run Bitcoin just had a few days later.
let's see but on litecoin chart you can see the next targets and the support is of course around the 100 us dollar 90 us dollar and then the 80 us dollar if we might fall down again with litecoin but again let's look at the bright side of life let's look to the next high that we can create with litecoin which would need to be above 400 us dollar because that was the previous high also ethereum guys let's take a look at ethereum this chart bam we can see the same movement as in bitcoins we are consolidating around the 650 us dollar level the next target would be 675 us dollar if we break that we can go all the way to 800 us dollar and for ethereum the same thing is there the all-time high of Ethereum was around 1400 US dollar. So if we would copy Bitcoin, Ethereum should need to increase all the way up to 1400 US dollar to break the previous all-time high and set a new all-time high. So that is a doubling of the price of Ethereum at the moment. Bit Ethereum was the best performing asset in the year 2020 when it comes to adoption of decentralized platforms, the DeFi industry, all that stuff was built on Ethereum. So I think Ethereum price is still undervalued and we can see a rush in the Ethereum price. Yes, we can easily see the Ethereum price double all the way up to 1200, 1300 US dollar. And then come close to the previous all-time high that we could break then. So both Litecoin, Ethereum, positive to me and Bitcoin of course always positive to me let's take a quick look at the daily bam bam indicator because the bam indicator made some profit yesterday's again huge profits I need to say again of course in these runs with 2k and 4k candles it is easy to make profits for any indicator I think it was more than 450 percent profit let's take a look at the chart this one bam we traded yesterday with 250 dollar with a leverage of 12 yes playing around with the leverage mostly we play with the leverage of 10 sometimes with 15 when we feel very bullish and sometimes with 12 when we are like a little bit bullish the first trade was a long of 250 us dollar and we made 70 percent profit so that took us to all the way up to 430 us dollar then we had a 30 percent profit short which made 430 us dollar 586 us dollar and then again we had a 40 percent long which brought us to 820 us dollar in total these first three trades were all stopped out by the trailing stop loss we had set so yes we set a trailing stop loss on bybit and if you want to sign up to bybit use the referral links down below the video and claim your 90 dollar bonus dudex has a 300 dollar bonus and prime hbt a 50 percent deposit bonus use our referral links because we share the revenues we make with these links with poor people all over the world like you can see in the videos that i've been putting out there every time again when we do a donation to a charity the last trade of the day was a short guys a short of 58 percent profits which brought the total to 1389 us dollar we started with 250 dollar with four trades we created 1398 us dollar this is a 450 percent profit day in the dd bam bam indicator we are not selling some magical indicator or something it's just built on the analytics and the ta we have done in history and that created this indicator which is a helpful tool that will tell you when to buy or long or when to sell or short the market bitcoin litecoin ethereum gold whatever tesla any asset you can trade with the dd bam bam indicator if you want to know more about the dd bam bam indicator visit ddbam.com or visit our discord server where all the members are talking daily about bitcoin blockchain and life and yes also sharing the results of the bam bam indicator positive and negative always make sure you do your own research about the bam bam indicator visit our discord server and ask the members if they are satisfied or not and if not you don't buy the bam bam indicator and if you are and if they are satisfied then you do buy the bam bam indicator you know you need to make up your mind but we are making cool profits like you can see and i share them every day in these videos bam I, I needed to stop the recording of the video because I had an interview again um, with Business Insider Spain, which I will share the link again after this. A uh, really cool interview uh, asking a lot about Bitcoin and uh, all that stuff. So you will see it all in the story. Um, yes, let's continue. I, I think I already had all the charts of today. I hope you really enjoyed those charts. If you did enjoy the charts, give them already a thumbs up. So let's now jump in the blockchain news part, the part where I talk to you about what I read this morning when drinking my delicious cup of coffee with this beautiful view of the sea and the sunrise this part bam only two items one item the kids told me daddy 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 say yes what's up 
and they were like, wow, do you know the singer of Wasp or Wasps or Wasp? I don't know, a strange song with the lyrics, wet ass pussy or something like that. I said, uh, yeah, I know that one, but that, that's Cardi B, isn't it? And she said, no, no, they did. Cardi B made the song together with this other rapper and the rapper was called, I forgot the name again, Megan D. Stallion or something like, I don't know, something like this. And she gave away $1 million worth of Bitcoin. That's so cool. I said to my kids, wow. So that's cool when rappers give away a, a million dollars of Bitcoin. Yes, he did it on Twitter. We, <laughs> we want to uh, follow her because she's giving away free Bitcoins. So I started reading uh, the Twitter. And yes, indeed it was. And I read an article in uh, Cointelegraph later. Um, this rapper, Megan T. Stallion, she's probably a stallion. I don't know. Uh, she was giving away $1 million worth of Bitcoin together with the Cash App, which is only available in the US. So I told my kids, ah, calm down, calm down. We can collect it as Europeans. Um, it's only for US people. But she gave away $1 million worth of Bitcoin together with Cash App. I think I saw a lot of replies that they received around $11. Like like 50,000 sets or something in the cash app from Megan T. Stallion. Uh, really cool to see that these huge uh, mega stars singing dirty songs now also give away bitcoins. Perfect combination <laughs> of porn and cryptocurrency almost. <laughs> you can see slowly more and more people are starting to believe in Bitcoin and they're starting to see the revolution behind it. And all these rappers are very revolutionary people. That's why they rap and make rap music because they don't agree with the current system. Mostly they want to fight against the system. So yes, these rappers now will understand that joining this Bitcoin revolution is fighting against a very inhonest system. So welcome Megan T. Stallion to the Bitcoin family and join the revolution that we are fighting already for 11 years. Bam! Other news I want to share with you guys is about uh, Ross Ulbricht from, yes, you know him, from the Silk Road. Yes, I know. I already talked about that President Trump is doubting of, of setting him free. Let's see how this will evolve. But you know, at the moment they arrested them, they also confiscated a shitload of bitcoins. I think it was worth one point. It is worth now 1.6 billion dollar in bitcoins. So around 70,000 bitcoins that they confiscated at that point when they stopped the Silk Road. Now they are thinking about auctioning these 70,000 bitcoins, and I don't understand why they would auction these bitcoins. If you are a government and you confiscate or IRS and you confiscate bitcoins and you can see that the whole world is shifting to bitcoins that all the big banks in the US and the rest of the world are starting to involve in bitcoin why would you auction them and not huddle them as your new reserve store of value as an IRS as a country why would you auction these bitcoins hold them very tight they could be your savior of the next crisis that we will see. They could fulfill the same function gold did when we saw all those crises in history. Now you should hold all these bitcoins. Don't auction them. They can be a very cool reserve store of value for your country, for the IRS, whatever you prefer to call it. So I just don't understand why they would auction it. Keep them in your own pocket, hold them, because you will need them when the dollar crashes. And that was everything for today, guys. It was a short video, like I promised. Today, you will see the family part in the new video created by Gokstein Media. It will go live today, like to this evening, or maybe tomorrow morning, because this evening for the US is the morning already for me here in Portugal. But it will be a kick-ass episode created by Gokstein Media about the kick-ass stuff we did in the last week here in Lagos, Portugal. Yes, it involves really cool things, so make sure you don't miss out on that video as well. Sign up to my Twitter and all the other social media accounts or visit the Discord server because I will pre-announce the link over there. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. I want to thank you for watching today and hopefully see you tomorrow again. And always remember guys to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy life every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching again and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye.